once you know your keywords, where do you put them? In our third class in our SEO MOOC, we're going to investigate page tags, your title tag, meta description tag, and a few others, and I'm going to talk about how to weave your keywords into your page tags in order to speak Google. And then we're going to talk a little bit about your home page, which is the queen bee of your website and also a really important asset in your on-page SEO. Let's get started. The code for the session, of course, is 61. So you go to our website, type in jm-seo.org slash 61, and that will get you to the landing page uh, for all the links. It's also in the YouTube description. So we're looking in our class number three. We're looking at page tags, what's called on-page SEO. We're going to understand how to use uh, on-page tactics uh, to get to the top of Google. So let's get started, let's dive in. So what we're doing is we're explaining how to get to those top of Google searches as we go through this MOOC. This is a very basic class. I'm only giving you uh, the very fundamental uh, stuff. We're gonna do lots of hands-on step-by-step in this third class uh, in our series is focusing on page tags. And we're learning to take our keywords in, and put those in the right positions on the pages. Sort of how to speak Google is what we're going to learn in this class. So we're here at class number three, uh, on page SEO, understanding page tags. And our whole philosophy is built on we need some knowledge. We need to know how the game is played, what the rules are. And then we're going to put that into action. We're actually going to do some things to our website. And that's going to generate our success. Uh, so what's our agenda? We're going to learn the language of SEO at a very basic level. We're going to look at page tags. We're going to do what I call a page tag autopsy. A lot of people call this an audit. So I'm talking about going in and taking apart a page and understanding how it's talking to Google. We're going to look at home pages and how home pages talk to Google and that'll give you a lot of insights uh, for your own home page and then we're going to conclude with some handy dandy worksheets and quizzes uh, to help you learn uh, to take what you've learned and implement that uh, in your SEO strategy. All right, so page tags are really the language of Google. So HTML is built on tags. We're going to look at those in a second. You don't have to be an expert on page tags to know how this works, uh, but you do need to understand that behind the scenes of what you see on the internet, there's this language called HTML, and that language is built around tag structure, what most web designers do not understand is that that tag structure is also talking uh, to Google and Bing. So let's get started. So page tags have two functions. They're the foundation of HTML and they do two things. They control how the browser, which is your Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever, how that displays the page that you look at, you the human. That's what everybody understands about page tags. What many people do not understand is behind the scenes, the way that a page is set up talks to Google and Bing and sends out a signal of what that page is about. It tells the search engine what is important. So let's go over to our links and let's look at some examples. It's always easier to see in examples. So I've got some searches built out. I'm going to look at this search motorcycle insurance quote and again you can get to those links um, in the YouTube description. So let's look at our search motorcycle search, uh, motorcycle search, motorcycle insurance quote and let's look at our number one performer here. So here's our ads, top left, top right, we're ignoring those, we're looking at our SEO number one, two, three. Let's look at our number one SEO performer, progressive. So this is number one. This is the gold medalist for this search. And your search could be different. It could be industrial fans. It could be hypnotherapist, Dallas, Texas. Doesn't matter. All right, so now here's the page, the visual page that the humans see. This is not what Google sees. Let's right click, control click in mouse, in, in mouse, in Macintosh. I can't speak today. Go to view page source. This code is what displays the website. Now, I want to show you a couple things here. Let's just go Control F as in Frank, and let's type in H1. So see this H1? That is HTML for open H1, close H1. Now, on the website itself, that is this guy right here. So that H1 tag is making that font big. So 
Most people understand that aspect, that that font makes it big. What they don't understand is that behind the scenes, let's go back to our source code, this tag, this header tag, is sending out a signal to Google and it's saying, hey Google, motorcycle insurance is really important to us. Motorcycle insurance is really important to us. Now let's just do a little experiment here and let's go control F as in Frank and let's take the word motorcycle and let's type in motorcycle and let's hit highlight all in Firefox. Firefox is a really good browser to use for SEO because it's so easy. Now let's look at all the occurrences of the words motorcycle insurance. Okay, now look here at what's called the title tag. So open title in HTML, close title in HTML. Now you don't have to be an HTML expert, so don't freak out. If you're using WordPress, if you're using Dreamweaver, if you're using GoDaddy's uh, website tonight, or they call it Web Builder these days, that software will build this code for you and it will usually ask you what's the title of the page what's the description of the page what are the keywords on the page what is the header of the page and then that gets translated into the html code that google sees that bing sees so what we're looking at is the code level and at the code level open title close title and look at the word motorcycle put in here Look at this meta description tag with that word in there. Meta keywords tag, just a heads up, that's technically ignored by Google, so we'll just ignore that one. And let's go down here and we're gonna look and we're gonna see here's our header tag. Now in the full-blown class, we go through the whole language of tags and teach you all the things. In this very basic class, I'm just making basic points. So I want you to notice here at the top of your browser, motorcycle insurance, Get motorcycle insurance quotes at Progressive. Now let's go back over here and I just want you to point out, see that title right there? Look at that title or headline on Google. So where we're going is we're understanding tag structure. Now let's look at number two, Geico. Let's go over to the Geico page. Let's right click, view page source, do control F as in Frank and type in the word motorcycle hit highlight all and I want to just make this point that the tags the keywords have been strategically placed inside of certain tags Geico progressive these are excellent companies in terms of their SEO they know how to speak Google they have specifically put their keywords inside of the appropriate tags to talk to Google so they're speaking Google the question is how do you learn how to speak Google at a tag level? So now let's talk a little bit about density. Keywords are a foundation, but those keywords live on a pages. We've got to put those keywords in the right tag structure. We've got to put the keywords in the right density. What are we talking with density? Let's go over here. Let's look at the Geico page. So we're on the Geico page, just the visible page. Control F is in Frank. Oops, I gotta get the right control. Control F is in Frank. Type in the word motorcycle. <coughs> motorcycle, I got a spell here. Motorcycle. And hit highlight all. Now I wanna just point out that Geico is doing two things. They're writing keyword heavy text that spits back at Google the type of searches that people are putting into Google. Motorcycle insurance, motorcycle insurance, motorcycle insurance quote. Lots of keyword density here. You can see that with the pink occurrences of the word motorcycle. So they've got keyword dense, rich text, and they're structuring that text through page tags to talk to Google. They're doing two things together. So that's why I'm saying you've got to get your tag structure correct. You've got to get your density correct that sends out this powerful signal to Google and Bing, what do we want to be? What do we want to dominate? In our resume analogy, what job are we going after? Okay, now we've got to learn how to speak Google. I can't teach you that in this very, very basic class. I'm just opening up your mind to the idea, hey, there's tags, hey, they talk to Google. Now there is a guide that Google produces called the Search Engine Optimization Starter Guide. 
doesn't teach you everything you need to know, but it teaches you some very important things that you need to know. And I want you to get that guide, read that guide, sleep on that guide, pay a lot of attention to the guide. I've got the link for you uh, in uh, the links on, the, on our website. I want you to read this guide and just go through and look at the guide. And I want you to show the very first thing the guide talks about is the title tag. The very first thing it talks about is the title tag. So you want to get this guide and it's going to help you understand how to speak Google. How do you speak Google? So you want to get this guide. It's incredibly valuable as a resource of how to talk to Google through page tags. Okay, so now let's go and let's look at some tags and let's understand what they're doing. Let's talk about doing a page autopsy or a page audit. So we're going to look at a page and we're going to understand how it speaks to Google and we're going to reverse engineer that tag structure. So it's time to be a little bit like a surgeon. Let's go look at some of these pages. Let me go back over here. So let's take motorcycle insurance quote. I also have CRM software built out for you, but we'll just be simple. And let's look at progressive number one. And let's look at sort of let's correlate what tags are doing. Okay, so number one for this search, progressive. Now, hold your cursor at the top of the browser. See motorcycle insurance colon, get motorcycle insurance quotes at progressive that appears right here. Now, let's go back over here. Motorcycle insurance colon, get motorcycle insurance quotes at progressive. Let's look at our text. Let's right click. Let's look at the code. View page source. Let's find the title tag. Title tag. Motorcycle insurance, get motorcycle insurance quotes at Progressive. So the first thing I want to lead you with is the title tag controls the headline on Google. Every one of these is the title tag of the page. Now look at the displayed results and I want you to count how many say motorcycle insurance quote in the title. Motorcycle insurance quote one two, two of three words, three of three words, two of three words, three of three words, three of three words, two of three words. Are you seeing a pattern here? If you want to get to the top of Google, place your target keywords in your title tag position. It's the number one on page factor. So that's your title tag. Put your keyword in your title position, huge factor to get you to the top of Google. Not the only factor, but a huge factor. Now let's look at another quote, another search. Let's look at CRM software, CRM software, CRM software. Now look down here, CRM in the title tag, CRM software. Now look at this, CRM software and online customer relation management dot dot dot. Let's open that guy up here. You can hold your cursor on the tab. That will tell you what the title tag is, or go view source, find the title tag. Sometimes you have to hunt for it. CRM software and online customer relation management, Sugar English Americas, etc. Now, back here, how many characters do you get? You're going to learn you get about 69 visible characters. 69 visible characters. In our full class, I give you more information, more detail on how to write a good title tag. Right now, just think simple. Get your keywords in your title tag. Now, let's look at this guy below here. Manage your sales, marketing, and customer smart better with Sugar Sam's online CRM software. Take a free trial. How do you control that text on Google? How do you control that text on Google? Go to their web page. Right click, view page source. You're looking for what's called the meta description tag. If you write a good meta description tag, whoops, has about a hundred and let me reset that, has about a hundred and fifty five characters in it, and Google likes it. Google will use the, this as the description, especially if it contains the keyword. So in this situation, they wrote their meta description tag. That meta description has the keyword that we entered, CRM software, in it. See down here, CRM software. So Google uses that meta description. So title tag, 
meta description tag. Now, what's another tag that Google really likes? Google really likes the H1 tag. Let's right click, view page source, control F as in Frank, let's go find the H1 tag. Header tag, H1, H2, H3, a lot of oomph in the Google document. So your title tag, put the keyword in it. Your meta description tag, put the keyword in it. Write header tags with keywords in them. Write keyword dense text. That's sort of the best practice. Progressive is an awesome website to look at for best practices at work. Now let's go back and let's look at some other websites and let's talk about how they look at Google. Let's do like an autopsy for some really bad website. So let's look at Wimpy Jewelers. I looked at sort of people in New York City that do watch repair, sell jewelry, this kind of thing. So let's look at Wimpy Jewelers or Wempe, I don't know how you say their name, I don't know the company. Beautiful website, awesome website, sells a lot of really cool stuff, obviously very cool expensive watches. Awesome. Now let's look at what this web page is doing to Google. View page source. Let's look for their title tag, okay? This is their title tag, home. They're sending a huge signal to Google. We want to be number one for the keyword home. It's pathetic, right? That's stupid. So if your, home, if your title tag just says home, you've just shot yourself in the foot in terms of SEO. You're not telling Google what you want to be number one for. Now look at their content. Their content doesn't really have watch on it, doesn't really have jewelry on it, has a lot of just sort of different sorts of words. Now compare that to somebody who does a great job for SEO. Let's look at Ron Gordon watches. Okay, now look at their title tag. View page source, find their title tag. New York City, NYC, watch repair, all brands, Hamilton, Breitling, Tag Heuer, Rolex repair. Great title tag. Look at the content of the page. Watch repair in a million different varieties. This is a very strong home page, sending a very strong signal to Google. We want to show up for the search, NYC, watch repair, Breitling, watch repair, etc. If you go to Google and you type in, like one of those brands, Breitling, watch repair New York City. I gotta spell it right. Look who's at the top. That's that connection point between the title tags on the website, the H1 tags, etc. Look at the source code. Look at the title tag. Title tag, powerful signal to Google. So you want to do a page autopsy going and looking at your own pages looking at your titles, your meta descriptions, your headers. There are other tags that I teach in the full class, but let's just be simple. Let's look at the very basic stuff. Do an audit of your pages. How are they talking to Google? How are they talking to Google? That's what you're trying to understand with tag structure. Now let me get over to my PowerPoint here. Okay, now we're going to do that tag, and then we've got some homework here. we got to go improve it. Compare, contrast, or title. I'm going to show you in the worksheets in a sec second. I show you how to compare, contrast your title tag as it stands today with how you're going to improve it. So you've got some homework to do. Tag structure, keyword density, learn how to speak Google, talk to Google, talk to Bing through tag structure. All right, now let's look at home pages. Your home page is your most important page in terms of SEO most important home page. Let's talk about why that is. Everybody has a home page. So if you're a Google engineer and you say, gosh, my goodness, we're going to index the entire web. That's a crazy task. Let's take a shortcut. Let's at least index everybody's home page. So Google pays a lot of attention to your home page just for the sheer volume of information on the internet. Let's at least index everybody's home page, the tip of their iceberg. Secondly, almost every page on your website will link up to your home page, and a lot of external stuff will link to your home page as well. We're going to talk about link building in the next class uh, in our SEO MOOC, but right now just sort of get the idea. Yeah, everybody talks to the Queen Bee. That's the home page, right? The internal, external links. So your home page becomes the Queen Bee of the website. What's our takeaway in terms of tag structure? 
your homepage needs to communicate to Google your keyword priorities starting with tags. So great title tag on the home page, great meta description with your pitch to Google, great one click links from the home page to sub pages, what are called landing pages. So let's see this in action. Let's go back over here. Let's look at um, Progressive because it's such a great website. Okay, so let's look at Progressive. Does really well for auto insurance, motorcycle insurance, etc. Let's look at their home page. Home page, I love Flo, there she, she's cheering for us. Home page, find their title tag. Look at their title tag. Car insurance quotes, online auto insurance quotes. Somebody at Progressive thought through their number one thing they want to dominate, car. The synonym car, the synonym auto. Look at their meta description. We make car insurance quotes, etc. Now, let's look at the page. Notice how on the page, good keyword density around insurance. Look at all the redundancy. Insurance, 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 insurance. Notice how the home page goes one click from the home page to landing pages. So this is a very strong home page. One click from the home page to define landing pages, all with great title tags, all with great keyword density. All of these guys have read the Google document. They spit back the structure at Google the way Google wants to hear, and off you go. So this is an excellent home page, very, very well designed. Compare it to a home page that's pretty much a train wreck. Let's look at Wimpy Jewelers here, right? Beautiful from a visual perspective. No one-click access to keyword. What is? We're trying to be number one for Dream Dancer by Kim. We're trying to be number one for Patek Philip makes no compromises. There's no good tag definition versus the keywords. So this this page doesn't show on Google searches. It's a disaster. It's a train wreck. It doesn't talk to Google. So the home page structure very important to do an autopsy of your home page and understand how your home page is talking to Google. Now, once you understand tags, then you've got to go through an audit, do an autopsy of every page on your site, especially your home page. And then you have homework to go through page by page. All right, so now let's look at our worksheets for our class. Let's look at our worksheets for our class. All right, so we're going to go to worksheets on our class here. Hold on here. I've got to flip over to uh, my uh, browser. And you've got to register to get the workbook worksheets. So I'm going to go look at the worksheets here. And let's look at our worksheets for tags. So I'm going to look at the PDF here. So this is a little worksheet you get by registering. And I'm going to say, go through a page on your website, your home page, subordinate pages. Choose your target keyword family. Write some actual searches you want to dominate. Do your title tag, your meta description tag, your H1s. I have some other additional tags that we talk about. Write some great text. And then I have a nice little inventory here. Compare, contrast what you're doing now with what you need to be doing to show on Google. And this little worksheet is it's worth its weight in gold. And it's a PDF, so it has no weight. But it's worth its weight in gold because it's going to tell you what to do on your page tags. It's going to help you do that page tag analysis. Okay, so finally, so what have we learned so far? Know our keywords. That's the job we want to get. Build our resume. That's our page tags. That's our resume. That's our website. Now I've got some knowledge quiz and action quiz about page tags. So take the knowledge quiz. It's like, hey, did you pay attention? Do you understand the basics of speaking Google? Action quiz. Hey, are we actually doing it? Are we implementing what we've learned? So that, my dear friends, is our class on page tags, our class on on-page SEO. You can get to all the class materials with the keyword 56, with the code 56. I'm open to questions. Don't hesitate with questions to put them um, on the YouTube channel uh, or uh, send us to, by email and we'll answer those questions. Thank you so much for watching.